Wow. I was hoping to wake up to this day that we do now have a confirmed biosignature from an exoplanet. Yeah, I've been saying it for a while. In fact, this is K218b. K218b is two and a half times the size of Earth and it's 700 trillion miles away. The James Webb Space Telescope is so powerful it can analyse the chemical composition of the atmosphere from the light that passes through it from the small red star it orbits. It seems to suggest that it contains molecules which on Earth can only be produced by living organisms and it's such a strong signal that if it is home to life, it's plentiful. K218b is thought to be a water world covered entirely by a vast ocean and the evidence is growing that it may be teeming with life. First of all, the exciting breaking news, which is all over your phones and tablets today. And that is the team from Cambridge University in England have actually reconfirmed and got better data about a biosignature on K218b. Yeah. Let me fill you in with a timeline of discovery and explain the scientific process that this has gone through. So the exoplanet was found in 2021 from Earth, from a telescope on Earth. It's big and it orbits a red dwarf. It's so unique when it was first spotted. It's big. So when it transits its star, it makes a big blobby as it goes across the face of the star. It's quite a good one to look at. And it was classified immediately as a giant watery planet. And this same team in Cambridge have been following it with great interest since 2021. The next thing that happened in the science timeline was the James Webb Space Telescope was launched. And the James Webb Space Telescope has an instrument on board that can do exoplanet spectroscopy. That means look at the light as it passes through. Light has wave bands. Distinct chemical elements have peaks in anything reflected or luminous. So you can analyze an atmosphere around a planet if there's a light shining through it and see what's in the atmosphere. And that's what they managed to do in 2024. And they found a really good signal, a bio signal, saying that there was life on the planet. Exactly the same kind of complex chemistry in this exoplanet's atmosphere as we have from Earth. That stuff that makes that pungent smell of the ocean. Probably from single cell plankton type things. Mr. Blobby, not aliens walking around making their version of the I Love Lucy show. But it means there's life. But the Cambridge team ran into a problem. I think the same problem that Breakthrough Listen ran into when they found, in my opinion, confirmed BLC1 technological signature. The science community didn't like it and possibly somebody else. Both Breakthrough Listen and this Cambridge team with the biosignature backpedaled and said, oh, well, it could just be an error. We are not sure. But that's not what I heard. I heard the Cambridge team really did find a good biosignature. Good enough to get funding to do it again. So they did last year. They used the James Webb Space Telescope to look at the atmosphere of the planet and they found a better signal. It's really there. They tried everything to get rid of it. Go away. No, it wouldn't. Please be something else. No, <laughs> you know, be an error. No, it's really there. And this week they've published it. So folks, what does it mean? Well, it means that we're not unique anymore. We are made of elements from our star, the sun, and somehow oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon, and a few other elements joined together over millions of years and made simple life and slightly more complicated life here on this planet. It's far more weird and complicated to say that we are unique here on Earth than finding that process of simple elements joining together into complex biosystems over millions of years of evolution is simply going to be everywhere. But hang on a minute, until today, we haven't found that. We live in fascinating times. It's so ironic, channel viewers, that only yesterday I was interviewing Dr. Shelley Wright about, are we living in special times? Do we have the tools to find that we're not alone 
Yes! The very next day, it's published that the team in Cambridge that I've been following since 2023 now have republished new findings that they found a very strong biosignature of Mr. Blobby. Remember that, Mr. Blobby. We don't know who they are. So how does it feel, folks? How does it change your world view? Are you still going down the pub? <laughs> I hope so, because the truth is out there.